Hey guys, Patton here, welcome back to the channel. So Screamer, one of the head developers of AutoBleam, was nice enough to give me a preview build of version 0.6. Now this version is nowhere near complete. This is more of a progress report to show you what's been done already for the next version. And there have been some really big changes. So if you first take a look at this menu, you don't see anything different. There's different background music and a different background, but the options all look the same until you hold down the L1 button. We still have the memory card option and the game manager, but we now have a new option for game UI. So if I hit the triangle button here, you see that the user interface has been completely changed. We don't have the carousel anymore. All the games are in a straight horizontal line. Whether or not this is going to be the format for the final release has yet to be seen, but just the fact that they were able to do this is actually pretty amazing to me considering when we first got into the PlayStation Classic, there was talk that there would be no way we would be able to change anything with the user interface and the carousel and how the games were displayed. So this is a great step and closer to my dream of the PlayStation demo disc user interface that I want. Another change you can see here, if I scroll a little bit, that the main 20 games have now been mixed with your manually added games. So for those of you who like to have all your games together, this is a very big improvement. Also something you may have not noticed, if you take a listen, The menu music is playing in the game menu. So it was one of my more minor complaints of the original PlayStation Classic menu that, you know, it was kind of drab. It's a minor detail, but it actually means something to me. Screamer also made a change to the actual PCSX emulator itself. He added a new option. You can see the option added right here, toggle filter. What this is, it will toggle the bilinear filter on and off. Now this won't matter much for 3D games, but any games where you have 2D pixels, the bilinear filter will smooth those pixels out and then those pixels won't look so sharp. It's reminiscent of how the games were played on the old CRT TVs before HD TVs came out. That option is the same one that you find here in the regular AutoBleam menu, the GFX filter. So I want to reiterate, this is still a very, very early build of version 6. The settings, the guide, and the memory card options don't do anything if you go to them and hit X. But the resume points, if we hit X on that, you see that we don't have just one resume point anymore. It has been increased to four. Another one of the complaints people had about the PlayStation Classic is why it only had one resume point to begin with. Well, now you have three new ones. The AutoBleam team is very adamant that everything that they are doing with the program remains on the flash drive. Nothing they do will alter the internal contents of your PlayStation Classic. So just a recap of everything that is set to be included with version 0.6 so far, you have the new user interface carousel, integration of your added games along with the original 20 games, the new bilinear filter option, and the PCSX menu that you can toggle in game, background music that will play in the games menu, and three new resume points bringing that total to four. So tons of great stuff coming from these guys. I can't wait to see what they come up with next. I wanna thank Screamer and everybody on the AutoBleam team for all the hard work they've been putting into their program, and I'll be waiting for a final release. So thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time.